it so long as like alchemy. All right, here we go. Game two, obviously no Kawhi Leonard pop. I don't know how much hope he has for this team. Early on, Draymond, more tools than a plumber. Behind the back to Zaza, he would leave the game. Zaza, they say karma gets to everybody. Hurt heel. Steph, though, had it locked on automatic all night. You see the early three ball, and then this is what sets him apart from other dominant ball handlers. Moving without the ball, the twist of the hips and towing the line. Is he done? No, here's the Baker's dozen in the first quarter. Four threes for Steph as the early gut punch from the Warriors. And that's a scary sight for Cavs fans, a fresh chef heading into the finals. The only man that showed up for the Spurs, Jonathan Simmons, AKA the sober Lance Stevenson. There will be no LaMarcus Aldridge highlights in this video because the man didn't show up, Charmin. But here's the story of the game, the rookie P-Mac out of UNLV three ball he was three or four from downtown KD gets in it and it was just overwhelming like a shy town summer just too many shooters for San Antonio to deal with Ian Clark in the corner and then Steph how about a four-point play the true shooters bounce and it was too easy you're gonna see Patty Mills here he's thinking about who's gonna twist his hair in Australia this summer Steph's not done cutting ankles and taking angles all the way to the rim 29, seven and seven on the night. Take another look at it. Dwayne Dedman, once coveted by the Warriors, San Antonio picks him up and now he's just another victim. Draymond running the floor, Clay. It was nice to see him hit a couple shots, but I'm not gonna say he officially is back. I feel like he's gonna explode at some point in these finals. Steph, why not? Another pull up. And really this game was over before it began extended garbage time here and like I said the story of this one was Patrick McCall filling in for Andre Iguodala look at the swagger behind the back you know the rules McAdoo's in the game it must be over y'all Golden State 36 point blowout but what Pop said was his team did not believe they could win that game without their man Kawhi Leonard so my feelings on this, y'all, is game three, if Golden State can withstand that opening punch in San Antonio, because you better believe there's going to be a punch in a storm coming from the San Antonio team who is very prideful. If they can withstand that storm and win game three, this will be a sweep. And what you are seeing really probably is the end of an era, the end of this Popovich San Antonio dynasty. LaMarcus Aldridge, again, Charmin soft, y'all. You know, you know what LaMarcus reminds me of? He's kind of like the, the redhead stepchild of the Spurs, right? They didn't raise him, they just kind of took him in, right? But he's not cut from the same cloth, and it's clear, didn't show up for them when they needed him. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.